Hello everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. Today we present various optical sensors, ambient light sensors, RGB sensors and proximity sensors. In order to understand these sensors, various parameters must be explained. First, color temperature, that is a categorization of light source. It is defined as color ranges produced by a lamp. In physics, the concept of black body is an ideal object whose electromagnetic spectrum depends only on its temperature. At around 2000 Kelvin, green and yellow color are part of the spectrum, unlike blue colors that need a temperature of around 5000 Kelvin. It is weird, but we say a color is warm when the temperature is the lowest, two or three thousand Kelvin is the most comfortable for the human being. And a color is cold when the temperature is high. Indeed, blue looks cold for a human being. In order to calculate a light temperature, it is necessary to measure the power of red, green, and blue. Then, some matrix calculation and a formula called a Maccami formula gives the correlated color temperature. The second key parameter is brightness. When we talk about brightness or light intensity, the unit that is used is lux. One lux is equal to one lumen per square meter. Lumen measures the total quantity of visible light emitted by a source. This luminous flux does not have to be confused with the power or energy of the light. The power or radiant flux includes all electromagnetic waves emitted unlike the luminous flux that is weighted according to a model of the human eye's sensitivity to various wavelengths. Indeed, lumen itself is equal to one candela steradian. The candela is a SI-based unit of luminous intensity. Luminous intensity is analogous to radiant intensity, but instead of simply adding up the contribution of every wavelength of light in the source spectrum, the contribution of EV wavelength is weighted by the standard luminosity function that is a model of the sensitivity of the human eye to different wavelengths. These are called the photonic vision. This curve is used by ambient light sensors. A second curve, the scotopic curve, could be used for low light conditions. The norm is to use the photopic curve. The steradian, like radian to measure angle in two dimensions, is used in three-dimensional geometry. It is a measure of how large an object appears to an observer looking from a given point. Hence, we have the equalities, one lux equal one lumen per square meter, equal one candela steradian per square meter. In order to have points of reference, one lux is the light of a full moon on a clear night, a few hundreds of lux for office building, 400 lux for sunrise or sunset, 100 lux for overcast day, 10,000 lux in full daylight, and more for direct sunlight. Now that units are well defined, we can play with Vichy optical sensors. The VEML6030 from Vichy is a high accurate ambient light sensor. It includes a high sensitivity photodiode, a low noise amplifier, and an ADC. The value is then readable through an ASQC. It is called a silicon eye and the response is very close to a human eye. In a sunny day of Colorado, a value of 40,000 lux is easily reachable as we can see on the curve. The VEML6040 is an RGB sensor. It measures the power received for each red, green and blue wavelength. The dye is covered by different filters in order to detect the various colors. The eval board comes with white, red, green and blue LED. Surrounding the board with my hand and turning on colors LEDs, we get various values. Red LED on, green LED on, blue LED on. We can see the sensor detect the changes of color. As said, when RGB colors are known, the correlated color temperature can be calculated. 
the VEML6040 calculates the CCT MACCAMI. Finally, the VCNL4020 is an infrared proximity sensor. This sensor does not work with visible light as it emits infrared wavelength and measures the reflected power. As soon as the material approaches the sensor, the reflected power changes. Depending on material and distance, the reflected power is different and different thresholds can be programmed to fit proximity sensor applications.